Hey, welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Black Flag. It feels like absolutely forever. Actually, it has been forever since I've played this game again. Um, just been doing so much other stuff. Uh, but last time on Assassin's Creed 2 Black Flag. Um, oh yeah, I remember, yeah. So we had sailed, got some money uh, from sinking ships, and I was like, hey, yeah, I'm going to... Uh, you know, sink some ships, get some more money to where I can afford the new sword set. Or, like, a new sword set. Um, but different plans happened. So, what happened was that I got a brand new computer. Uh, I can run games at really high graphics. As you can see right here. It's not, like, maximum. Like, this isn't max. Uh, this isn't max. Uh, so on and so forth. Um, but yeah... So I got a new computer, and then Ubisoft said, wait a second, we're not going to uh, transfer your save file to your new computer. So I had to replay the entire thing over. So there's some things that I uh, like, like uh, there's fragments that I missed, or some shanties I've probably missed or gotten more of. So uh, little things had, you know, changed, but uh, so yeah, now I have my new computer, record uh, at really good frames i can play at good graphics um but i don't have the right amount of money to afford the uh the uh sword set actually how much is it Fourteen thousand. okay so we're not like super far off but yeah so we made it off to this little island i mean look at this good frame rates really good uh graphics Why look, it's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy and yet, ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, can we? Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns Gosh, this game looks so good. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him. And he'll lead you straight to your prize. I also want to uh, note that now that I got a new computer, for some reason now it's letting me use an actual PlayStation 4 controller instead of the knockoff one. My knockoff one is getting is collecting dust now. All right. Um. Oh. But despite the waywardness of your enterprise here, I understand that you are men of discernment. All right, here we go. We have to tail him. Ooh, there's a chest I hear. Might as well make some money doing it. Oh wow, we can really shoot while we're in the bush. That's really cool. I didn't know you could do that. Boop. Burford, Manning, to me. We've done with this place. Alright. Uh run it. All up and unfell, boys. We're going home. Hmm. Ah! <laughs> Hold you. 
Uh-oh. Uh... Well, I think we failed that. Oh, wait, we're just... Oh my God. Okay, I'm so dumb. We can get on our ship. Okay. Well, uh, we failed that one. Captain, you have the look of a man crafting a bold idea. The look I've seen before. You mark well, Ade. I've just overheard one of the Beckford's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping there. And it gave me the idea that I might take these goods of him and sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea. Now that is a ship. One we will be taken down later on. In the series. Now later on this episode, I, I wouldn't think we could do that. We must tread lightly. These waters are well guarded, sir. Hold at it. There's trouble afford. I see them. Oh god, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? They're they're looking at us. Stop looking at us. Loose and catch the wind. Trump says gallants, loose and trim. Uh Come back here. Warship incoming, Captain! Schooner! Royal Navy! No, come on. They were looking at us. This man's working for Peter Beckford's people. Do you know them? The Beckfords and their sugar empire. Aye. The Beckfords and the Draxes. I never worked their plantations, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked a plantation, no? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled? Or something else? Cane juices. It's a hard process making sugar. Dangerous too. Must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like? Toiling on a plantation day and night. Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested, it's run between two metal rollers across the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it was time to boil away the waters from the sugar. This we did in touch is made of coffee. But let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin will stick like bird lime and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. And we lost scrap of duck on the wind. Very windy. Oh gosh, don't run us into the island. It's a risk to anchor too close. The soldiers roving the plantation would catch us for sure. Drop here then and sneak ashore. We'll look after the jack. Ahoy, Captain! Intruder. What's happened here? Why such disarray? In the nick of time. What do, sir? That's all. It's Wilmington's birthday. And you saw fit to What's Did that in the thicket? Hey! I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> you saw fit to get pickled on duty. It's no bother, sir. We have everything sorted. We'll soon see. I I'm used to holding Y for uh Whatever eavesdropping. I believe or not eavesdropping, uh Eagle Vision. Pilots, if my eyes on me, though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. Certainly wasn't slavers, though. Not a ship that size. In any case, double the watch. And keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. God's sake, what the hell 
is going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're piss drunk and barely able to stand? Forgive me, sir. I am fit and able. If I see any strangeness about, you'll hear the bell ringing straight away, I promise. Asking her. I'd like to speak to the man in charge here. I require entrance to the warehouse. Which of you dogs has the key to the warehouse, huh? The key, goddammit! Someone find me the key! I didn't go how I wanted it to. I wanted to be a lot sneakier, but uh, that didn't seem to really happen, did it? Alright, now that we've done that, what all can we see? There's howler monkeys here. There's a Shanti here. So that's good. Um hmm. What do we need to do now? Alright, I guess we have to sail out to go to here. Um okay, well while I'm here, I wanna go ahead and just get the Shanti. And then I'll head out and get that uh, little mask icon. There's a monkey. Hello, monkey. I need to start looting because I am out of bullets. Got it with ease too. Oh, well, okay, we could have landed there. Are there any more monkeys? I can kill them. Clear shot on it, boys. I'm not one of them. You, <laughs> you killed your friend. Oh man, he really flung himself. Oh, okay. I wonder what these masks are. It's not even a mask, but I wonder like what it is. Cause I don't really know. I don't remember much about these. All right. Well, do we? What do we do? Do we climb? 
interact. Ah. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. There we go. Ow. <laughs> we really needed to use our sword to move that rock. A Mayan stone. I wonder what a Mayan stone is used for. But now we can. We can buy the swords, but we're gonna have to wait to go to a uh, outpost. <clears throat> but at least now we have the uh, right amount of money. And then, now that we are going to have the right amount, or now that we're going to be able to have uh, the swords, I might wait to do the pistols, because I kind of want to focus more on my ship. This is why I love playing Black Flag. This is like one of the games that I never really fast travel on. Here's to our pirate republic, lads. We're prosperous. And free, and out the reach of kings, clergy, and... It's a lot of crabs. <laughs> Near 500 men now pledge their allegiance to the brethren of the coast in Nassau. Not a bad number. True. Yet we lack sturdy defenses. If the king were to attack the town, he'd trample us. Then let us find the observatory. If it does what these Templars claim will be unbeatable. Not that twaddle again, can we? It's a story for schoolboys. I mean, proper defenses. Steal a galleon, shift all the guns to one side. Would make a nice ornament for one of our harbors. It will not be easy to steal a full Spanish galleon. Have you one in mind? I do, sir. And I'll show you. She's a fussock, she is. Fat. And slow. <laughs> okay. Oh, a deer. Oh, oh, okay. We're gonna go deer hunting, guys. Dang it. Wait, did I kill him? I got him. There's another deer. Another deer. Okay, so there's a windmill. Are we on the on the island? 442, 118. 442, 118. 
No, we're not on the right island. Hmm. Okay. This is a small island. I'll probably just get the rest of the stuff that's on here. Yeah. Got everything. Oh no! That is a man of war. We do not need to mess with that right now. Oh, but the money get off that. Oh, that's <laughs> that's our location that we need to go to. Your distance will strike when fortune favors us. Under cover of darkness, most likely. Ah, oh, you may come to that. He's got metal too. Of course, we get all like the really good ships coming out while we're having to do a mission. Are they gonna help us? They are gonna help us. Reckless as they come. An old friend of yours. Not a man I call a friend. But we've been doing this kind of work for so long, I can't help but respect them. Gunboats were at harbor, they're just like little gnats. That island. I know the place. A natural stronghold used by a French captain named Ducasse. Julian Ducasse, the Templar. The name's right. Didn't know he had a title. I know the man. And if he sees my ship, he'll know it from his time in Havana, meaning he may wonder at who's sailing her now. I can't risk that. And I don't want to lose that galleon. Let's think on. And maybe wait. Till it's dark before hopping aboard. Captain has the helm. All weather there, Captain. Gentlemen. As is custom among our kind, we do not plunge headlong into folly on the orders of a single madman, but act according to our own collective madness. <laughs> the object of our attention is a square-rigged galleon, and we want her for the advantage she'll bring Nassau. So I'll put it to the vote. All those in favor of storming this cove and taking this ship, stomp and shout I! Aye. Those who oppose, whimper nay. Never was the King's Council so unified. Ah. 
And that's pretty. Wow. Now that is a thumb thumbnail right there. It's totally unnecessary for me to try to kill all these guys, but I'm just doing it because I very much want to. gift you gave me. Well, it answers just fine. Fist of Putra! As bold as a musket ball, and still half as sharp. I'm sorry about this, mate, but I can't risk you telling your Templar friends about me still kicking around. I pity you, Bukenyi. After all you have seen, after all we showed you of our order, still you embrace the life of an ignorant and aimless rogue. What's this? His petty larceny, the extent of your ambition. Have you no mind to comprehend the scope of ours? All the empires on Earth, abolished, a free and open world, without parasites like you. Que l'enfer que tu trouveras soit le fruit de ton insouciance. The cove is ours! Nice. Three hundred and twenty three thousand I wonder who's number one in this game probably some who somebody who's been playing this game for hey since it released to now I just saw you were logging out so I thought I'd stop by and give you something a little welcome gift we give awards to our top-notch employees for doing quality work and they're nice to have since there's no official bonus scheme here I already have about 11 or so oh bonjour of course I'll pass it on well, looks like Olivier wants to meet with you. It's exciting. Follow me. All right. It's on the top floor, so it's not hard to find. But the rest of this building can be confusing to first timers. So we had the tools team whip up a great map application. Check your communicator. I added a waypoint to Olivier's office. Should be easy to find. Olivier's a nice guy. He won't bite. I would hope. <laughs> Hello? Hi? Testing, testing. Is this thing working? <clears throat> this is John from IT. We met earlier. Hi, John. I was calibrating your animus. I'm sort of the, uh, Scotty of this Abstergo enterprise. In charge of all the techie stuff. Wow. You have a minute? Oh. oh. Ah, damn it. The tracker says you're on your way to Olivier's office. Ah, all right. I'll ping you when you're done. I have a favor to ask. Oh. Bonjour. Go right in. He's waiting for you. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, well, unless you are specifically ordering me to abandon it, I won't uh, jeopardize our flagship project. Edward Kenway is the... 
But this is... But this is how Hollywood got its start, right? With pirate movies. Douglas Fairbanks, Errol Flynn, and now we have access to the real deal. Pirates of the Caribbean. Wait, wait. Exactly. We'll talk about all that together at the shareholders' event. Right. Looking forward to seeing you too. Take care, Letizia. Salut! Hi! Thanks for coming in. I know you're busy. So, I reviewed some of your data. Pretty mm -hmm. raw stuff. Obviously, we need to scrub off some of the dirt to make it family-friendly. Maybe give Edward a voice like uh, James Bond or something. More of a ladies' man. A beautiful city, no? It is. So, the main reason I asked you here concerns something called the Observatory. It's uh, been mentioned a few times in the footage you found. I'd like to encourage you to focus on locating this specific set of memories as soon as possible. If it were up to me, on s'en I wouldn't bother. But some bigwigs at Abstergo Industries have been hounding me for days. So, follow whatever leads you find and hopefully we can... Oh, incoming call. I have to take this. We'll keep in touch. Bonne journée. Alan, bonjour. Oui, 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 tout va bien. Naturellement. All right. Hi, John from IT again. You got a second? Hi, John from IT. I'm adding a waypoint to your map. So, uh, a colleague of yours left for vacation this morning and forgot to send a video file she promised me. Mm -hmm. I hate just about everyone else on your floor. I was hoping you could help me. Could you transfer the file from her computer? and deliver it to the courier when she comes. It'll be easy. You just wander over to their animus, log in, and transfer the file. Easy. And please be snappy before I find a reason to hate you, too. A locked door? <laughs> Not a problem. That's the advantage of me having level one security clearance. Now, you do, too. Don't abuse it. Something doesn't it. seem right. <laughs> Okay. What do I do? How do I I I, I don't think I understand completely. Oh. Okay. section in your communicator and you'll be redirected right away everything you download will be found in there uh protected by a firewall of course december 23rd 2012 sample recovery unit team lead fisher case reporting on subject 17 desmond miles the subject was deceased and unattended <coughs> Time of death was placed around 0 hundred hours and seven minutes with conditions favorable for DNA sample recovery. We had some initial concerns about interference in the vault, but given the skill and talent of this team, we were able to capture useful data. I personally retrieved the subject's backpack and extracted a number of objects of interest to undergo detailed analysis. The subject displayed burns to the right hand, severe enough to fuse the bones, indicating some kind of spontaneous, intense burn trauma. Honestly, we've never seen anything like it before. Head, neck, and torso remained in good condition. I hand-selected recovery agents to retrieve fluid samples, blood and saliva. We then commenced material extraction and were able to preserve several exemplary samples. Data analysis and sequencing is already underway, and I'm told proceeding with exceptional ease. 
Thanks to the cloud database and the work of Abstergo Sample Recovery Unit 3, the legacy of Subject 17 will continue uninhibited as Sample 17. Okay. Let's get a little bit of backstory. Oh, you're better at this than I'd hoped. Now zip on down to the lobby. Come on. See that file you acquired? I wouldn't recommend watching it. I mean, ooh, you could, but it's unpleasant. So once you hand it off, just pretend this never happened, okay? Otherwise, you'll just go to bed feeling sad. Anyway, the courier should be waiting downstairs. She's been here a while. I suppose it goes without saying, just because you now know how to hack all your colleagues' computers, it doesn't mean you should. I mean, not every day, right? <laughs> no, seriously, though, that's illegal, so don't be a dick. Unless that's your nature. Ah, uh, something just I seems off. I can this up, you know? This job is well below my skill level. Yeah, well, your coffee is shit. You could use some practice. Oh, look who's here. So you didn't forget, after all, you're just incredibly rude. And made poor Rebecca here wait for nearly 30 minutes. You limey. Be nice. Sorry about him. He's high on his own supply. Wait. So, how should we do this? Data transfer? Great. That should do it. We'll email you the receipt. Till next time. Wait. Hold on. Oh, yes, bye. And don't expect any more free coffee. Arrogant. She's great, isn't she? Wait. Uh. I just got word the courier has come and gone. Wonderful, you're a miracle. Hold on. I. Was that the two people from Assassin's Creed Two? I I think that was. <laughs> One hundred. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. So, you might have just heard me say, like, wait, hold on, was that Rebecca? Or those two people from Assassin's Creed 2? Uh, so yeah, that is Sean and Rebecca from Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, I actually didn't know this, uh, and I didn't really pay attention to it for the first time I ever played this game. Um, but, yeah, so... I was confused that, uh, why was Rebecca and Sean, um, working at Abstergo? So from what I read, I don't know if any of this is just 100% true, um, but from what I read is that they are working undercover in Abstergo, trying to get some information from them, trying to get more data from them, um, and that might play, like, a, a, a role later on in the other games, like... I don't, I, cause I don't remember, uh, anything else from the other game. So maybe that is just something that, you know, we just have to remember whenever we, uh, play the next game, like, uh, the one, um, ahead of Black Flag. So like Rogue, for example, uh, I don't know if they kind of bring Rebecca and Sean back in Rogue. Um, so maybe we'll, uh, we'll see about that. <laughs> Um, I mean, it's probably obvious, and I'm just like, you're not a miracle. Looking you're like a dummy. Doing a job, but thanks for helping out. Anyway, thanks. Have fun pirating. If that is them, then like, that's just that just has me some questions. Where you go in the market? No, I. My parents have asked me to come live with them, and I'd like to. Oh, what do you mean, live with them? You live here with me. I'm sorry, Edward, but my father is right. You had a decent wage when you worked the farm. Why can you not be satisfied with that? With me? Decent wage? That job was near as damn it to robbery. You want to be married to a peasant the whole of your life? All right, Edward. All right. You leave now, Caroline. You'll never know what's coming to us. Caroline! Caroline! Oh. Shit. Wake up, can we?
Thatch about? He left this morning <laughs> with the galleon, as Faith will discover a good use for this old coat. I wonder how he's able to sleep up there without falling. I will make something of it in time. We could keep a fleet here if we like. And with a bit of fixing up, it'd be a decent place to call home. Might even convince my wife to come one day. You're married, are you? In God's eyes, I am. She left me some time ago. Even so, keep that fact hid away. Most of these pirates don't respect a man with higher commitments than rum and plunder. Call mine honor. Let me know if you find anything. Remain a faithful husband. Okay. Am I able to... Wait. Are we supposed to be cha- Oh, we have to follow James Kidd. Oh my gosh. I need to end this episode. Alright. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna end it and come back to it. Um, but yeah, that was a, uh, very action-packed episode. And we got a good bit of money, well over the amount I need to buy the, uh, sword set. And I am trying to get that sword set, but we just have not been able to go to an outpost so I can buy stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm, <laughs> I need to come back to this game again. I, I forget how much I, I love this game. Um, but that'll do it for this episode. Uh try to get back to it here soon so yeah thank you for watching